YouTube. What's happening? Uh, today is August the 24th, 2020. Hope y'all are staying safe, practicing social distancing, you know, um, giving thanks for the things you do have. But yeah. This, this video right here is gonna, not gonna be a long video. I might jump around. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun video in the midst of everything that's going on right now. Cause I know some places is up in fire right now. Remember, today's day is the 24th. So something big just happened on the 23rd. But anyway. So okay. First of all, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and speak on uh, the NBA. I'm sure it's gonna be in the title, so y'all gonna click it if y'all know. But I'm gonna speak on the NBA as a whole before I even get on to the topic. Okay, me as a black man, I'm thankful for where we've come as far as the overall consciousness even though we as a whole percentage wise during the 60s were conscious and uh, moving towards the same goal even more you know, as a percentage than we are now but I'm gonna go ahead and thank the NBA for what they're doing as far as putting the jer putting the uh, slogans on the jerseys and the words on the court and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I don't mind the words on the court. But when you have a player and you're forcing that player to wear his to wear a slogan on his jersey, it's becoming. It's, to me, that cannot go down because having someone play on a court that has that title on it or any slogans on it, that I don't mind because as a basketball player, you yourself, you're coming somewhere and you're trying to dominate. So you want to be on the court that says Black Lives Matter and you want to dominate. Now, if you choose to wear a slogan on your shirt, okay, yeah, it's fine and dandy. It shouldn't be forcing people to wear a slogan that has to do with whatever. The majority of them have to do with the situation at hand. My whole thing is why would you force someone who does not believe that to wear that on their jersey? But that's just my question. That burnt, that makes me hurt more inside knowing that there are people who can feel the opposite of it, but then they have to wear that. At least let them choose what they want to wear. So that way their opinions can be known. Because I'm sure if you ask any black person that, oh, do you like racist Caucasian people? A large percent of them are, are going to say, no, I don't like those people. And they're going to say bad things about those people. And they're going to wish bad things on those people. So if you ask uh, any other person that comes into contact with any other person of the opposite race or a race that's not their own and that particular person who's not of their race does something to them or continuously does things to them and their community helps them and if you ask those people hey do you like that group of people do you like that group of people that subjects you in that way they're gonna say no I do not like those people so everyone everyone does not like someone there is not a lot of people who just love everyone no matter if you're a racist person no matter if you're a pedophile 
no matter if you're a rapist, you have few people that will say that they wouldn't judge you and that they would love you and treat you kindly. So, all this forcing people to be something that they're not, I appreciate the effort, NBA. Like I said, you put something on court and you give the players options. You give the player an option to kneel if he doesn't want to kneel. Don't make it a big thing if someone's not kneeling. Because, like I said, everyone is entitled to their opinion. You might not like black people because all the black people you've ever lived around since you were a little kid always pick on you for being different, beat you up, the black girls don't like you because X, Y, Z. So you don't like black people because that's all you've been around. Or you don't like these particular black people. Maybe it was the, maybe it was a certain type of black people in your community that was doing something to you that you didn't like. So you're not going to like those people. I'm pretty sure that people who are racist like parts of the other race that act certain ways or do certain things for them. They like those people. So it's it's just, man. But anyway, this whole video is about that right there. It's about um, the player who was playing against the Mavericks and Luca, Luca went and did something or whatever and the dude tripped, but he flopped. And the, Luca was like, man, stop tripping, bro. Like, stop flopping. You know? He wasn't like, oh, man, are you hurt? Oh, is, is your feelings okay? So, the next play, the same guy gets the ball and dunks on Luca. So, he turned up. And he says the B word. Then he says... And he says the A word, and then he says white boy, all in one sentence. Like, are you there, like, broke act white boy? So he says it like that, and so everyone's tripping out, and everyone's, oh man, blah 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 blah. And now. This guy has to walk up to him, you know, hug him, apologize. No, I'm saying like, man, look. Uh, watching first take. Yeah. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon was, you know, Shannon does what Shannon does. Skip does what he does. Shannon said very good points. Skip says very good points. So, it's not even <sighs> watching the show and they're like, alright, well, you should be fined. We can't allow this. Blah, 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 blah. Then, you hear, well, you know, I've been called way worse. That's that's everyday talk. The context in which he said it in, I would have to check him. Cause see, certain people, if you call them the B word, that's 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 a line that they're they're willing to. Uh, that's where they draw the line as far as how they let you talk to them. So, it, basically saying, oh well. Luca should have just checked him, basically saying that on first take. So, the whole thing to me is like, come on, really? Really? People still getting shot. And like I said in another, other, my previous video, all this riding and stuff still have the police officer literally held um, Brandon Jacob I think is his name. Rest in peace. I, I forgot his name. Man held him. Police held the man by his shirt. And and it's sad. It's sad, but the police officer is not gonna get charged because they had no idea if he had a gun in the car or not. 
So him opening the car door and you reaching out, going on in the car. When police got that gun drawn on you, you do not do that. That's what you don't. That's how you get shot. And there's etiquette to everything in life. There's etiquette to your conduct when in the presence of a act on duty police officer during a stop. Because the, when the video starts, the cops already have their guns drawn. And then you see a couple of them start drawing their guns and he starts walking away. Because what are they thinking? They don't know if my cousin just got shot by the police. Okay. I'm mad. I got all kinds of guns. All kinds of bullets. And I'm just riding with you. A whole lot of stuff. Police pull over my homeboy. And I'm with him. And I'm trying to figure out why they tripping. And I just done got sick and tired. I'm about to just shoot the police. And we just finna run. So I'm finna go to my car and grab my guns and shoot this dude. How the police know he wasn't thinking that? So his death wasn't justified, but I know as a black man that if the police got their guns, I'm not I'm not moving. I'm not talking. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not, and when they when they tell me the shit, I'm going to produce a fat turd. Because once I don't comply with them, that proves that lets them know that now I'm threatening them. I'm not complying. And I know that as a black kid. That's what my parents taught me. They're like, look, you're black. This is how you be black in the world. You cannot challenge authority. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. Don't put yourself in a position that's going to mess you up. Always keep yourself in a position where you control the outcome. It's just stuff you have. To, it's stuff you have to teach your kids if they black. That a white person wouldn't have to teach their kids. And I'm just being real. That's just the way the world is. That's how my mama raised me. That's how I learned how to read. By reading black history. So come on now, y'all. Y'all gotta tighten up. Uh this, 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 bro. Man, he called him a white boy on, on the court. Man, look. Yeah, it's equality for everybody. You shouldn't even talk like that. Man, if you a hooper, if you a hooper, if you a real hooper, man, you ain't gotta get all in your feelings, man. If you a real hooper, you cold. Man, they not gonna stop you, bro. You ain't gotta, you. What? Your trash talk should be calculated. Come on, man. Now you looking like a fool because you got to embrace this man even though you might not feel that way in your heart. I be hooping. It don't need. I don't need. Bro, I just want to cross somebody. Come here. People get mad and they gonna foul you and just say stop hacking. That's that's the worst trash talk ever. Stop hacking. Stop hacking. Stop hacking. You hacking. What? I don't want to hear that. That's worse than anything you could tell me. If if. If I'm doing somebody in so cold that all they doing is fouling me, that's what I that's what i that's how I play. So I don't even need to be trash talk. Hey bro, get off me. Stop touching me, bro. Get off me. You can't hold me. That's That's all it is. So yeah, like I said now. You look in some kind of way because you're doing something you don't feel in your heart you need to be doing as a grown man, somebody telling you what to do. 
you gotta go apologize to this man or your money on the line. And he did it. So yeah, that's all I want to uh, tell you guys today. I just hope that you're having a wonderful, marvelous day. And like I said at the beginning of the video, like I said at all the beginning of the videos, give thanks for the things you do have. And when you learn to do that in times of despair or anytime you have a negative thought, once you learn to give thanks for what you do have, then you slowly start to uh, feel negatively. That percentage of your life is it gets very, very, very small. Having bad thoughts and angry thoughts and thoughts about like stealing and anything negative. Just be like, look, I'm just thankful for what I do have. And then slowly but surely, because you're always going to have things you're thankful for. People, there are people who are living pretty uh, bad lives. There are people who uh, who have to live with themselves with irre irreversible um, facts about them that every everyone knows. And they grow up their whole lives from the time they were conceived. And everyone knows things about them that for anyone else who's living these wonderful lives who's just always sad, that would be totally crushing in their whole lives. They'd probably just do something drastic, whereas this person stays strong their whole life and, and is on point even having this major hindrance. So, like I said, just give thanks for what you do have. And it's okay, you know. Just give thanks for what you do have. But yeah, that whole thing, I'm, I'm like, really? This is what the NBA is now? Sometimes I look at these NBA players and I'm like, wow, like, the best kid from my high school made it to the NBA. And I played on the same court as him like two times, two or three times. And the way he played and and how he went about the game, he wasn't like seven foot. I think he was like six one, six two, maybe. But like definitely, you know, ninth, tenth grade, he's not, you know, he's like six foot on a good day, right? He's like five ten. So like but, you know, he was he was a absolute monster and he was he wasn't I guess he didn't trash talk because these were like scrimmage games and I didn't really I didn't really watch like I was I wasn't like our basketball players like they were kind of like you know we were lower classmen so they were kind of mean to us so I only went to the basketball game to watch like my friends <laughs> I didn't go to just like watch the team. And, like he, was, I wasn't cool with him, so I didn't really go to his games. <laughs> but like my homies, when they play, started playing varsity. Like, but I don't know how he played in those games. But when I was on the court with him, it was legit. Like, like he was a like real monster. Like scrimmage game, uh, I seen him come down the court and like first t try all day just hits a half court shot in the, in the middle of the scrimmage and this was already he was already a senior on the way you know to good college well not even good college straight college he he like him his college team went like undefeated and then they lost in the semifinals like he's a, like that's what i'm saying he went to the league bro is a real monster like a true an actual true point guard and that's what i'm saying like i play with actually i play with an nba caliber true point guard and it's like when you like when you beat when you around that and you feel that energy and you're like okay this is like and then i went to mississippi state and played with them sec guys like you know they came to the regular gym sometimes and play with regular regular you know kids you know what i mean they were they didn't just play by themselves every day you know what i'm saying so like transition in sec like all they're doing is like 
bowing you like it's that's like like they're like fighting down like, when they're like running up and down the court oh yeah you're getting like yeah and then it's just like you gotta go up strong so i don't know like i know what i'm talking about when it comes to basketball it's just that whole that whole that whole having to apologize oh he called him a white boy man yeah i understand what the time's going on now you got to chill, man. What you doing, man? They literally got Black Lives Matter on the court, man. So, yeah, like Shannon said, you get you get fined. Because if he would have said it to you, he would have got fined and probably kicked out the lead. So, yeah. So, so be safe, y'all. Don't do nothing crazy. Hey, I got the uh, skinhead going.